Hi everyone, it's Ryan from Drop Off Aquatics. Uh, doing another video on CO2 today. We've started injecting CO2 into our plant tanks, uh, the plant sales tanks, and so we need to obviously make sure that we're not putting too much CO2 in, um, as it could be potentially very dangerous to the fish that are in the tanks. Also, we've got to make sure that there is enough CO2 going in. So how do we do that? Well, it's basically a pH indicator. Um, the pH indicator will change color, and that lets us know what the CO2 levels are roughly in the aquarium. Um, if, it's, if it's a blue, then it means that it's more uh, alkaline, so there's not enough CO2 going in. If we want that green color, if it starts going yellow, then yellow means there's too much CO2 going in, and potentially it's gonna to be too dangerous for the fish. Uh, so yeah, we're looking for that green color. So this is the one that we're gonna be using. This is, we, we stock this on the shelves in the shop. Uh, it's by CO2 Art. The, uh, we've not actually tried this out yet, so this is gonna be like a bit of an unboxing slash review video. Um, all indicators work really to a certain extent, but we like the look of these ones just because they look quite sleek, they look quite tidy. So uh, yeah, that's how it comes. It's nice and simple. Made of glass, so do be careful. Comes with a suction cup as well. This is your indicator solution. And what you want to do is this bulb here, you want roughly halfway. You want it to be half filled. So all we're going to do Try that. I'm going to slowly turn it upside down. Just needs a little bit more. Let's give that a go. Perfect. So yeah, you can see it's roughly halfway on that bulb there. So that is that is completed. So we'll uh, install that on the aquarium now. Okay, so we've got the uh, CO2 indicator. What you want to do with the CO2 indicator is have it on the opposite side of where you're injecting the CO2. Of course, we're injecting CO2 on the left-hand side of this plant tank. If we placed it directly above that, of course, the CO2 is going to go straight into the CO2 indicator and it's going to affect the CO2 indicator. So that's not what you want. So instead, what we're going to do is place it on the right-hand side where the CO2 is opposite and therefore we're going to have a true reading of exactly what, well roughly what the CO2 is in the false volume of water. So now what we're going to do is just install it. So, needs to make sure that there's plenty of air inside the actual CO2 indicator. You don't want to have that full with water. All you do is offer up the suction cup to the glass Gently press onto the glass, give it a little s swivel, and you want it a couple of inches below the water level. So I'd say roughly about there, and then we want to be able to see it quite easily, quite clearly, so we're going to have it close to the front panel of glass. And there we go. That's the CO2 indicator by CO2 Art installed. So that's the CO2 indicators in. It'll take about 6 to 12 hours for the colours to start changing, so hopefully we should be able to show you those uh, probably near the end of the day um, and there'll be a definite colour change. For now, I just wanted to show you what we're actually using to inject CO2 into the aquariums. And what we are using is the diffusers, the bazooka diffusers from CO2 Art. Uh, these haven't been supplied free of charge. We, we bought these as part of a big order and you know we, we thought we'd use these just because we, we like the look of them. They, they seem to do a good job um, on other videos that we've seen. And so we thought, yeah, we'll give them a go. There's two different sizes to the bazooka. There's one for up to 250 litre aquariums and there's one for over 250 litre aquariums. So again, it makes our lives quite 
simple and easy to to sell for when new customers coming into the hobby and they're looking at injecting CO2 into the aquariums. Uh, I'll show you just how impressive they are really. They're sending out tiny, tiny CO2 bubbles. Um, it's going all around the aquarium just with the flow. There's good flow in these tanks, so that's pulling the CO2 right the way around the aquarium. But yeah, I'll show you. I'll, uh, I'll just flip the camera around. So this is what it looks like. Obviously this is way too much CO2 going into this tank. We won't have it going in like this throughout the entire day. It's just for showing purposes I've decided to turn the CO2 up a little bit on the regulator. And just to show that how efficient it is really. There's a lot of CO2 bubbles coming out of this. They're absolutely tiny which is great because larger CO2 bubbles tend to just rise straight up to the surface and gas off so it's wasting the CO2 whereas tiny bubbles will actually help to uh, well they tend to stay in the water column for longer and then with good water circulation that CO2 bubble will go around and the plants will absorb it okay that's everything for this video so that's everything for this video thanks everyone for watching if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos, if you want to see more tutorial videos, how to's, unboxings, please give the channel a subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you'll be notified every time we upload new videos. Thanks very much. Catch you on the next one. So it's now the end of the day. The CO2 has been on for roughly about six hours and you can see that the indicator now has changed colour. It's more of a greeny, like a dark green colour rather than a blue. So we know that that's, that's working reasonably well. Should go a slightly lighter green colour than that to get optimum CO2 well optimum growth from the CO2 but that's working quite well okay thanks very much for watching the video guys I hope you enjoyed it catch you on the next one